What's up YouTube, it's your boy Spyro Maniac back again with another video and nowadays AI is everywhere. I look over here, I, I find self-driving Teslas. I look over there, I find people trying to convince ChatGPT it's alive and conscious. I look over there and it's a bunch of artists protesting. They want to stop AI because it's stealing their art, it's stealing their whatever, it's gonna replace them all and they don't like it. Stop AI, AI is not good, you're making a mistake, it's gonna ruin all of humanity and then you look over there and you find people that say go AI, go AI and some people are, I don't know, praying to AI thinking, thinking it's God or Jesus and it's gonna save us all. <laughs> It's a crazy world we live in. But anyways, aside from all of that, there is the game industry. And that's the main subject of this video since it is a gaming channel. I'm going to be talking about AI in games and how it's going to change the game industry for better or worse. And what's going to happen and all of that stuff. AI has been in games for a long, long time. Ever since the first game release, probably. I actually don't know what the first game was. But... Point still stands is very beginning years of gaming AI existed. What do I mean? Well, take for example any NPC in any game you can think of, just like Skyrim. Any NPC you talk to, you fight, you take quests from, that's all AI. The only difference between AI then and now is that now it's smart and it used to be hella dumb. Look at it this way. As humans, we evolved. We used to be apes, just like the old AI, the old NPCs, the Skyrim NPCs, the Grand Theft Auto NPCs. Those were just apes. And now we're seeing evolution right in front of our eyes. They're turning into smart, human-like creatures. It's crazy. It's insane. First thing I want to talk about with AI is performance. Performance in games. Nowadays, AAA games like Cyberpunk require a high-end PC that's like $2,000 just to be able to run the game, let alone play the game on ultra 4K ray tracing and all of that. It's too expensive, and that's where NVIDIA's DLSS comes in. NVIDIA's name is going to come up a lot during this video because they are heavily invested in AI, and good for them. I think they're making the right move. Now back to DLSS. DLSS stands for Deep Learning Super Sampling. Sounds pretty cool, doesn't it? What it basically does, it makes you run your games at a higher FPS. How does it do that exactly? Well, let's say you want to play a game in 4K, but your graphics card can't really handle that. So what DLSS does is it basically runs, renders the game in 1080p and then uses AI to upscale it to 4K. So it looks fairly similar to 4K, almost indistinguishable. It's really close and it boosts your FPS by miles. I've looked it up and from what I could tell it boosts FPS between 100% to 200%. Now if you think about it that's insane. That's like doubling your FPS just using DLSS. DLSS also uses data and motion from previous frames to, in order to generate new high resolution frames. And then ray tracing, DLSS is used to generate more higher quality pixels within the rays in ray tracing. Now, it's way more complicated than I make it out to be, but all you need to know that is that it gives you more frames. More frames per second means better gaming experience, means better game, means more money for the industry, and everyone's happy. We all love, we all love frames. No one hates frames. If you're an MMO player, you know how long it takes to make an MMO. I mean, just look at Ashes of Creation. It's been seven years since they started developing that game. And it's still an alpha. Like, what the fuck? That's crazy, man. I don't want to wait that long for a game. I don't. I really don't. No one does. We want games. We want games to release quickly. Game after game after game. I don't want to wait seven, ten years for an MMO. Come on, man. And AI is the answer to that. With AI, you can just ask it to generate the game world. You want to you wanna build a forest here? Okay, uh, Mr. AI, can you make me a forest with whatever, whatever? And I want it full of green trees. Maybe add a few caves around here and there. And boom, you got a full forest. Now, of course, it's going to look generic. It's going to look kind of bland, especially in the, beginning, in the beginning days of AI. 
so the game developers are going to have to put in the final touches make sure everything looks different just add some trees here remove something there make it add some detail but ai will do the lighting shaders it will add in the objects it'll do most of the work for you all you have to do is put in the final touches <sighs> these people with their cars man it don't stop coming anyways it's it's gonna cut development time and i don't know i don't want to say in half but it's a significant amount also with cutscenes, if you look at OpenAI Sora, you can just tell it, uh, I wanna, I want a video of a chimpanzee riding a bird over the Atlantic Ocean, and it'll generate it. This is actually like we have this right now. It's OpenAI Sora. We we have this, so you could just do the same with the cutscene. You can just feed the AI the characters of your game, tell it the story, the narrative, and what you want, and it'll generate the cutscene for you and you just have to edit it make sure everything looks good and boom you just saved a shit ton of time AI will also help with physics making them look even more realistic let's say just like hair physics explosions destruction all of that will look better and better in games it's gonna look more realistic and it's gonna look great better graphics faster game development better frames that's all good and well but it's really it's not that new okay we've been getting better graphics for years with frames and in, in games we've you used to have 30 frames per second now we have 60 frames everything everything is getting better and better my main point is that it's not really innovative it's not that new this brings me to my next point which is ai in game and the actual game what can it do for games well I have two examples for you. The first one is ACE by NVIDIA. ACE stands for Avatar Cloud Engine. There we go, I remembered it. And it's basically an AI model that allows NPCs to be smarter and more intelligent, more human-like. They actually had a showcase for this in which they did a video where a player walks into a bar where two NPCs are talking and the guy just goes in and starts talking to those NPCs like they're normal people. It's like, what? No dialogue options, nothing, just straight up talking using a microphone. And the NPCs responded and just like a normal human being. It's crazy. It's really crazy. Been hiding in the shadows or have you just been trying to avoid me? Hey Nova, it's good to see you. I haven't been trying to avoid you, just been super busy. How are things? Things are fantastic. Just secured a juicy contract with Zenith and Sons. Hey Jen, you hear that? Nova just landed a big contract. Let's break out the good stuff. Ah, uh, you got it, Kai. Nova's success calls for the top shelf celebration. Just don't expect this to become a habit. The only gripe I had with this is the voices. Their voices seemed very robotic, but Again, with time, this is all gonna be improved. This is still the early stages of smart AI. But there you go, you can just talk to the AI. And if that didn't blow your mind away, I'll give you another example that will for sure blow your mind away. There's a game studio called Replica Games, which released a demo for a Matrix game called Matrix Unleashed. You may have heard about this one. It, it kind of blew up, it was very popular at some point. But the main concept of this is that you're in a city, inside the matrix, obviously, but you walk around the city and any NPC you see, literally any single NPC you see, you can talk to about whatever you want. You wanna talk about life, you can talk about that, you wanna talk about the weather, about games, about whatever, whatever you can think of. You just walk up to them, press the microphone button, and you just start talking, and they, they'll respond. I actually have a video of a guy playing this. He's called Expert Thief. I'll leave a link to his uh, video in the description. I'll play a little clip, which I found kind of scary and crazy at the same time. Why is life meaningless? Let's get into this again. Here we go. Because everything we do is just a meaningless cycle of work. Sweet Pete with no real purpose. Well, what do you want the purpose to be? Oh, I don't know. Maybe to finally find some happiness in this bleak existence. But good luck with that. As you can see, this AI lady was actually depressed. It really seemed real. It fooled me for a minute there. Like, is it? Is it conscious? What, what is this? How? Why is it talking like that? What the hell? It's like it's alive. 
she was angry about life work her work routine it's all repetitive it's all the same thing this is legit depressed that scary she was going off on a tangent dude she was she actually had enough of that shit it's scary man I mean, it's still the early days of AI, and it's already depressed, man. <sighs> Tells you a lot about the world we live in, am I right? God damn, dude. But yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy to see this thing. I, I don't know what to say. I mean... <sighs> I'm, I'm in awe right now. I'm shocked. Now, the question is, when will we see stuff like this? When will AI be fully implemented in games? Well, there's the finals. This is a game that released a few months ago. The announcers in the game were actually AI. They're AI announcers and they comment on the game as it goes on. Uh, there's also Pal World, which uh, there's speculation that the Pokemon slash Pals in the game were made by AI. So AI is kind of it's starting to get implemented, but not not fully. There's still no NPCs that you can talk to. It's still not really there. But technology, especially AI technology, has been moving really fast. I mean, take a look at a year ago, how AI was. The videos generated by AI or the photos, they didn't seem realistic at all. You could just look at the photo and yeah, that's fake. That's AI. But it's been a year later and. Damn, it, shit looks real as hell, man. I can't tell the difference. It's crazy. So, at this rate, I expect AI to be in games in about 5 to 10 years. In 5 years, definitely, there's going to be some AAA games that are going to have AI. In 10 years, maybe every game is going to have AI. I don't know, but it's not going to take that long. And I'm excited for it. I am. I really am. In my opinion, recently the gaming industry has kind of fell off. I mean, of course there are some really good games like Elden Ring, Armored Core, uh, there's Dragon's Dogma that's going to release. There are some good games, but in the end I just feel like it's the same concept over and over, just done in a different setting, a few different things done in the games, but it's nothing really that new. And I feel like AI is it. It's going to be the new boom. It's going to it's gonna change the whole industry. It's going to turn it upside down. And I can't wait to see what's going to happen. But all in all, I think it's going to be great. We're going to get new games, new kinds of games. And we're actually going to speak to AI. I've never thought I'd see this. But the Matrix is real. We're living in it. There you go. That was all for today's video. Give me your opinion on AI. Do you think it's a good change? Do you think it's actually going to happen? Or do you think it's bad and it's all fake? Leave your opinion in the comments. Like and subscribe. And I will see you all in the next video. Peace.